yeah. review of yesterday training. Yes. I start from switching, switching the starting button yeah. to a video, which is this one. To left, yes. Proceed to video. Then I on the camera from this angle. To right. Then it's now on. Right? Yes. Then I talk about teach about the three dimensional setting, yes. which is aperture, exposure, exposure ISO. ISO. That combination of light, isn't it? Yes. That combination of light, which you use to 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 achieve your work, right? Yes. And also, I also talk about the. The focus, auto focus, auto focus and manual focus, focus right? Yes. I said during the process of auto focus, auto focus, let me see the other focus. You have to press your own auto focus on. You have to hold this stagnant to show green, to show green. You now focus now, right? Yes. Then during the process of manual, you switch it to manual. Yes. To manual. Then you adjust your ring, ring, ring till you get the focus right. Then you start doing your job, right? Yes. Then I talk about, let's go back to the dimension of setting, which is aperture, exposure, and ISO. This aperture, the higher, the higher you will be, the lower the light. The lower the number, the higher the light. The higher the light. And the dark, the higher the number, the, the, the more the depth of hue, hue pump up on the camera for the image to stand out. You understand? You understand? Yes. Then which exposure normal it goes to this normal light. Yes. And it works in that. Then the same thing goes to ISO. And you should make sure that your ISO is not more than one sixty. At the point when you are shooting indoor, even when you are shooting indoor, your light should be, you should get other accessories such as light, back of light to brighten the place. Then you make sure the ISO is maybe 40 or 50. You understand? Because there are more light there now. There's no need of increasing the ISO to 150 anymore. Isn't it? You understand? So this this one here, is, this is the button used to increase the exposure range. Why this one is the aperture? For this ISO to be active, you have to press this button here, ISO button. Only him to stand up. You use this button, rather to reduce or increase. You get it, get it. yes. You get it there. So yes. that is the main, that is the dimension of set which I uh, taught you today. Yes. And if you understand this basic bar, the rest for you is my mind. It's for someone to just understand this particular basic. Why should you? You know that okay, there's light there already. There's no need of popping up your eyes at a certain level. You bring it down. And if you bring it down, the picture, the video quality of that image will be will be more higher, you to the beauty will come out. Then the aperture, the higher you increase it, the darker it is but yes. if you increase it to let me let me just say hundred now for example. Hundred. I want twenty like this. The the, the picture will get that time. But the back of back the the depth of which is the blurring of the background. The path will be blur, then the picture of the image will stand out. You understand? Then you if you see that you use your Exposure to increase the light a little bit. Which button do we use for exposure and increment or decrement? Yeah, this one. Okay, what about ISO? This one. What about aperture? This one. Okay, aperture and ISO, this one. Yeah, but if you want to make sure that the ISO is at the most, press this ISO button here. Yeah, yes, before you now use that. Use this button, yes. That flat button to, to do it. You get the depth? Yes. The same thing goes to if you are shooting outdoor too. And I told you yesterday, other should not, your ISO should, you are shooting on the day like when the sun is high, your ISO should be less, lesser, yes. 120, 100. So that 
It's not over exposed. And you can use your... And while you are shooting outside, that's where you see the beauty of your aperture. Because it's outside now. You are shooting outside now. And you frame your shot now, you increase your eye, eye aperture. Then you get a few with the blood with the blood the background. All the trees with the blood, then your image will just stand out. Then you do your recording. You understand? Then people will know, oh, you get a few, but you guys bad. I can set this camera. You understand? So, that's how you do it. How do you do it? Just understand this basic. I drop. This is for exposure. Yes. Apache. This one is in case Apache yes. and ISO. Then, I want, to, I want to, since I'm done with Apache of, of yesterday. Of yesterday. Yes. I hope you understand. Ask any questions about what you're No, I understand. Even if I go now, while I'm recording, so I'll still go and listen to it again. Okay. I'll still go and listen to it. So that means you understand. Except if you ask many questions, maybe just to. Okay, for example, let me ask a question. Yes. Yeah, okay. If I want to increase my up, uh, ISO, how will I go about it? Teach me. Okay, if, if you me. have to increase your ISO now, uh, you come to this place where the button, the button that carries that that six, uh, that that sign uh, of ISO. Sorry, uh, this one. Uh, press it, you press it. You press it, then you come here yeah. and do the adjustment. Either to increase by going left, to decrease by going left, or to increase by going right. That is clockwise. Okay. Yes. That's for ISO. Then how about for... How about for uh, 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 exposure? Okay, exposure also uses the same... Okay. Exposure uses the same... No, it doesn't use the okay. same. Okay, exposure doesn't use the same um, button. You use this one, yeah. You, first of all, activate it by looking for the icon that carries the exposure. exposure. No, no, there's no need of looking for any icon. You just, you just do it. Okay, just from here, direct. Direct. Just in the six months. It's actually direct. Okay. It's only, it's only ISO that you have to tap, tap the, the and icon. Aperture. No, aperture is just straight. It's okay. only ISO. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God for this question now. Okay. You understand now? Yes. Right? So it's only ISO that you have to press yeah. before you now adjust. Yeah. But for aperture and uh, uh, exposure, you yeah, go direct. Okay, but you know that this one is meant for aperture. aperture. Why this one is meant for exposure? exposure. Yeah, you get Although you still use this place for ISO, but you must have to activate, activate the button first. Yeah, exactly, you are getting the point. Yeah. Yes, you are getting the point. Man. So you understand it now, right? Yes. So now, that means I can move. Yes. To today's uh, teaching. Yes.